What's going on, my friends? This is Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. And as you can see by the title of this show, this episode this morning, uh, we have a wonderful guest, Sarah. And uh, freedom has been achieved. She's going to tell us how she did it. Sarah, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Good to be back on. Hey, you're very welcome and good to see you back. And uh, so freedom has been achieved. Huh? Why don't you give us a little bit of the backstory about how you originally found Legendary to catch people up and then we can come and bring ourselves to the present day. Yeah. So um, in August of this year, I was on TikTok, um, found an older woman probably around my parents age saying that she had quit her nine to five job, was working when she want, whenever she wanted and making thousands online. And I was like, okay, if this woman can do it, what is stopping me from doing it? So I took a leap of faith, bought it, bought in for the $7 and have never looked back. It was the best investment I have ever made for myself. And so, so leading to present moment, yeah. um, I am, tomorrow is my last day at my nine to five. So pretty excited about that. So starting Monday, it's just me, myself, and I working for myself when I want, how I want, where I want, liberating. I can, I, I wouldn't be able to tell by the smile and the excitement <laughs> at all that you were happy and thrilled. Yeah. Yeah. So how does it feel? Uh, literally like a breath of fresh air, like uh, chains have been broken off of me that I have uh, achieved and continue to scale my business. I'm just so excited for this next chapter in life. Yeah, um, I am too. I am thrilled for you to experience that way of living and being that I think we were born to have and be. Uh, and what are you looking forward to most? I'm looking to forward most to owning back my time. So figuring out my own morning routines, uh, being able to travel and help other people who want to be, um, you know, financially free or, you know, start their own business, just help people individually work their way up to, you know, where I am. I can help people, you know, on the path that I was on to where I am now. So just helping yeah. them with the learning curve for sure. So imagine that you ha hadn't taken action. And when you did originally had taken our 15 day business builder challenge, that was when? That was the middle of August. And then I posted my first content beginning of September. So middle of August this year? Yes. So hold on a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. So wait, so. I want everybody to be super clear about this, and I want to be super clear about this. So August of 2021 to, I'm bad at math in a ninth grade dropout, so I'm going to use my, my fingers here. August, September, October, November, December. So we're talking about not even four months that you've gone from being skeptical, as you, as you said, seeing... Uh, a woman around your mother's age online talking about being, you know, marketing online and building a business and this challenge thing and this legendary thing and this weird guy named Dave and kind of all this stuff. Right. And you're like, hey, hold on a second. And and, and then you ended up like taking the leap. Ooh, seven dollars. You were like, OK, it took you forever, though. That seven dollars to peel that out of your off your credit card was as if we were, you know, right. Pulling up, pulling up a, a Band-Aid that was going to pull your <laughs> skin off or so. Isn't it funny how, you know, sometimes spending that that seven dollars is, is. But anyways, from August, the middle of August to now the middle of December. So it has been roughly four months. You've completely transformed your life and you're about to put in your notice and completely quit your job and go full time. Four months. Yeah. Let's yeah. just all take that in for a second and let's have a moment of silence for your past life. Mm. Yeah. Because you didn't take your tombstone. You didn't take your, you gave your job your to the tombstone, right? I talked about this in our, in, our, in our mastermind that so many people in this industry take their tombstone in their, and they lay their dreams down to die in the graveyard of entrepreneurship. And they say, I'll take my tombstone. And you didn't take your tombstone. 
you're given your old job, you're given your old boss, you're given that past life, the tombstone, and you are rising up like the phoenix from the ashes to do your thing. And that is just so did I get all those facts straight four months and all that other yes, drama, yes. the the other drama that I've I've just included? Yeah, yeah. Um, yep, my two weeks was put in um, almost two weeks ago, so tomorrow's my last day, and I'm just looking forward to um, this new adventure of life that I mm. get to <laughs> tell who and what, when to do, because I'm in charge. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So um, what about that lady who is your mother's age? I mean, what does that tell you about us T being being out there and doing this no matter what age you are where you're at where you come from what you look like you know what your beliefs are what 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 would be what have you learned from this experience uh what i've learned is definitely you know you are your worst enemy you are putting yourself in front of your goals and your dreams so if you don't change your mindset of, hey, like I can do this and get away from the what ifs and the I can'ts and the what other people think about you, it doesn't really matter as long as you're doing what's best for you and what you wanna do. And so once I put all that aside and actually just learned the skill, took action and was consistent with action, that's all I've ever done and my results show. I mean, mm -hmm. if you go into the program knowing that you're gonna commit yourself an hour a day to learn and take action as you're learning. There's no doubt in my mind that you will succeed, but you are in charge. And if you aren't going to put in the time or take the action, well, then of course you're going to fail. So you really have to look in the mirror and figure out, okay, am I going to commit myself to this? Am I going to put in the time and effort and potentially change my entire life? Mm, mm. Because it can be done. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. And and we'll talk about your strategy here in a second. I, I know you've got a TikTok. You've been doing some Instagram marketing. It's not like you've exploded your channels to hundreds of thousands of followers and you, you're this big guru now. I mean, you've got a modest TikTok channel of 34-ish thousand followers, which really nowadays you're one video away from anybody getting 30 or 40,000 followers on, on TikTok. I mean, I'm sure... Any day now, as your content gets better, your account is just going to snowball. You've got a modest eight. What? What is it? Eight hundred and ninety. Yeah. Uh, huh? Almost nine. Are we talking Instagram? Yeah, like yeah. No, almost nine hundred. I mean, that's modest. Yeah, that's modest. I'm happy. I mean, the people that are following me are, you know, intrigued and, um, you know, communicate back and forth. So I do love the community that has followed me. Yeah, I mean, um, we'll put all of your links up here in a moment, but I want people to really hear this and really realize that you can you can really build freedom in 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 achieve. I mean, Sarah is quitting her job tomorrow. Everybody, she's quitting her job tomorrow. She put in her two weeks notice, and she has a modest following on TikTok of thirty four thousand followers. In as of right now, eight hundred ninety five followers on Instagram. So it doesn't take you, it, 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 it's about the strategy and it's about, are you monetizing your audience? You can, I know people who can make more money with a list of a thousand people than many do with a list, with an email list of 50,000, because it's about how you build relationship and community and how much they trust you. So what are some of your tips about how to build a business with a modest size following. What have you done to be able to turn that modest size following into buyers and into consistent profit? Okay, yeah, so I was new to TikTok on in August of this year. I didn't post anything. I had zero followers. So I have grown that account from zero to 34,000 in this time span. So consistency and action are the two number one things that I would say are the most important aside from learning the skill, because you have to learn to be able to produce, but you switching the mindset from consuming, you know, whatever's on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook to, to being the producer of it. So I purposely just go on my phone now 
to post and I'm very in and out. And then I have a set time frame in my day of when I go on to respond to comments and to respond to emails. So um, taking action, growing from zero to 34, it was just consistency posting, you know, in the beginning three times a day. And now I've cut back to two times a day because I also take really good control of the drafts in TikTok and uh, Instagram. So I have content that I produce on one day, but then I have, you know, 15 to 20 videos ready to go out. So I just, you know, monetize my time and have uh, alarm systems going off to, hey, this is when you should post each thing every day so I don't miss a beat. That's helped. So what I'm hearing is, is that, you are so on purpose with your time and so on purpose with how you use your devices such as your phone so you ensure that your devices in these platforms don't use you absolutely okay i think that's huge and i really hope that is really heard clearly by everyone um so what are some of the things that you have done in terms of your content, in terms of getting people to, you know, to consume the content and then actually turn into a lead to you? Because a lot of people will have videos and be getting views, but they're not, not actually turning those views into leads. Gotcha. So I definitely utilized um, the blueprints from Legendary. And then I would always go back and walk through the TikTok aspect in it. Um, it has really good resources and tips on what to produce for your content, as well as the same thing for Instagram. And so I use those and then I never break the wheel. I just make my own spin on the wheel that's already working. So I go out there and look at the creators that are producing well, um, you know, maybe are in the next step or ahead of me in this game or in this um, entrepreneurial pathway. So I look at them, see what they're doing, what's working already. And then I just make it not essentially copying, but making it my own. Um, so not breaking the wheel, you don't have to reinvent anything. And that has been also a major key point for how people are engaging in the content and then actually taking steps to clicking the link in my bio and then um, seeing that, you know, my results produce, I mean, it just makes sense. I, yeah. Yeah. Well, you mentioned, you mentioned the blueprints and, you know, I know we do this show every day. It's free and maybe there's some of you who have taken the challenge and think that, you know, the challenge is, you know, the challenge and maybe this free show and you've kind of got maybe a freebie seeker mindset to where you're going to try to build a business by just kind of hanging out on the college campus versus actually getting in class. And maybe you're viewing the, the, the investment into the blueprints as something that's a cost rather than an investment. But what you just outlined was is that you started our training in four months ago. You bought our blueprints. You've used the exact steps in the exact instruction step by step without deviating and by managing your time, which ultimately is your responsibility. I mean, it does not, unfortunately, we can't do this. The blueprints don't come along with a personal accountability person that's going to fly out to your house and sit next to you on the couch and say, all right, Sarah, it's time to get up. And, you know, it. you have to actually do your part, right? So you've taken the step-by-step -step instruction from the blueprints that we provide in an outline there combine that with good time management and and be really being a creator and not a consumer and in and, and basically it sounds like from those two ingredients what you've cooked up here is freedom yes I, I, am i right yep i couldn't have said it better and why do you think so many people will spend so much time trying to avoid what they view as a cost instead of just putting the money where their mouth is, sitting in class, learning the, the skill sets and the strategies? Why will people spend so many months? Why will people spend so many years freebie seeking, YouTube diving, guru jumping, Instead of just when they see it day after day, especially in a community like this at Legendary, 
why do you think, what do you think is holding people back? And what do you tell people about the ROI that you've gotten from that blueprint investment? Yeah. So the one word that keeps coming to my mind is fear. Um, people are fearful. They don't want to you know, spend the money to purchase the blueprints because what if it doesn't work? What if they don't succeed and then they just lost that money, right? So they're not thinking it as if they're in control because if you're in control and you're putting your money where your mouth is, then there should be no need that you're not going to succeed because you already have in the back of your head, like I'm purchasing this, I'm investing in myself. There's no way for me not to, there's no way for me not to, to fail because I've invested time and my hard earned money into this. That's exactly how I thought of it. I was like, okay, there's just no way that I'm going to fail because this is my money. This is my time. This is my life. And I wanted more than what this world has told us about, you know, to, I went to college, I got a degree, I got a job and, you know, now minimum wage is $15 an hour. I didn't make $15 an hour until I was at my full-time salary job that I am now resigning because I had made in three months more money in this side hustle business than I had in my three month salary that I went to school for. And I went to school for business management. I took marketing classes, but never once did I hear what affiliated marketing was. And I don't think it's a coincidence that they don't teach that because it's lucrative. They want you to be in the rat race of life for your entire life. You can work for somebody else instead of making money work for you. And people don't understand that. You have to grasp that concept and that other mindset that's just not out there. It's the unnorm. And once people realize that there's a different way to live your life, not by somebody else's terms or time, then we're going to be living in a world that's just full of abundance and opportunity for everyone. Hey, Dave, you're muted. Not you. okay. It's not you. It's, it's not you. It's me. Okay. Um, so I think we're moving in that direction. I do and too. That's why people you're seeing the job numbers go down. People are figuring out ways to stay and be able to work from home or work for companies like legendary where we allow we don't micromanage our people we hire top-notch people who are entrepreneurial which means that they're entrepreneurial but want to work inside of a team and they're just moving away from as you said the rat race in the factory worker um scheme that i believe that this country and in a lot of the world, but I'm going to speak specifically about America. Mm -hmm. The American dream, okay, is a lie. And, <laughs> yes. and, 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 and the American dream is a is 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 a mountain of debt in the world on top of you by the time you're 30, okay, yeah. and you want to have kids, and you you're you're you've got a hundred thousand dollars in student loans. You've got a job that you can't afford to 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 to, to support kids. You don't live in the neighborhood that you want to live in. And you is all you did your entire life was follow everybody else's instruction about what you should do. And they told you that if you just do this, you're going to live the American dream and you're not living the American dream. You're living the American nightmare and the powers that be, whether it be the government heads of big corporations, I don't know. I don't give a shit. I just know that for decades, this scheme, okay, this scam of f starting us out, little Johnny sitting in the front of the room, being, being trained to sit there and take instruction from a boss, a teacher, right? And then graduate college, take on debt, take on credit card to where now I've got so much debt by the time I graduate college, I have to take whatever I can get. I have to take whatever I can get because I, I have no confidence. I, I can't breathe. I'm already in debt. So I have to take whatever I can get. And then I get stuck into the job, the rat race. And by the time I meet somebody, if I have a family, I don't have time and energy to focus on learning how to build a business. So my friends, you're hearing it laid out in plain speak. If this doesn't speak to you this morning, nothing will. Nothing will. If this doesn't speak to you this morning, stop watching our shows. Stop being a part of our community. 
st- just go back and just do live that American nightmare and stop looking around because if this doesn't convince you what we're saying here this morning, laying it out in such plain speak with results, Sarah's of course, but, 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 but hundreds of days, day after day of putting people in front of you who said, look, I stopped walking around on campus and instead I bought the class and I sat in class and I learned the strategies and then I put them to work and now I'm free. If this doesn't speak to you this morning, stop watching, like stop tuning in, stop playing with yourself because it's not going to get any more clear than this and it's not going to get any more real than this. What comes up for you as I say all that, Sarah? Um, so if I was 18 again, just graduated high school, figuring out what I was going to do, if I would have known about affiliated marketing five, six years ago, I would have never went to college. Never. Because I couldn't imagine what I would have gotten done in the four years and then the four after that I've been out where I would be at right now. So if I could just tell anybody who's thinking about maybe going to college, don't know what they want to do, hate school, like pay the seven dollars and then invest in yourself to learn the high paying skills to make your own business i mean i'm living proof that this works so if you you and i can speak about it until we're blue in the face and some people aren't going to understand but the people that this resonates with i think will put a fire in them to skyrocket and you know flip that switch in their mind to go after what their purpose in life is for because it's not for it's not working for somebody else until they're 65 and then they can't maybe retire but if not then they're too old to go travel and do the things that they wanted when they could have when they were in their 20s when they were mid 30s i think it's also about happiness Mm -hmm. and i think it's also about feeling good about what you're doing in in knowing that you're moving in a direction that is going to be rewarding and that you're going to ultimately, when you lay your head down at night, feel good about and not dread waking up the next day. Do you agree with that? Oh, 1000%. Yes. I am looking forward to each and every morning. Um, and it's just getting more and more surreal as tomorrow comes. So yeah, couldn't agree more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I there is a lot of things we could get into, a lot of details, but you know what? You already said it. The details are in the training. That's where you got the information. And so there's really no need to, you know, rehash that. It's kind of like the, 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 you know, the, the entrance to freedom is for you to put some skin in the game like everybody else has. And if you don't want to do that, you know, if you don't, if you just want to hang out on campus in free be YouTube dot you know the youtube live dive down into the rabbit holes and jumping from webinar to webinar and you want to continue to do what sarah i heard you so clearly say that i own my time on my devices i only get on my devices to create not to consume because the truth is is that you we have thousands of ideas. Like if you really apply yourself, you've got thousands of ideas just simply from the training that you've gone through in attending these wake up lives. You don't need any more ideas. You don't need any more. You don't need to do any research and development. We lie to ourselves and say, oh, I'm scrolling because I'm doing. No, you know what? The truth of the matter is, is that our problem as entrepreneurs is not ideas. We got ideas for days. Our problem is execution. And I heard very clearly about today from you. So thank you about how you manage your time. And if you all miss that, this might be the episode that you need to go back and re-listen to. Just like on the way to the office or my other house this morning, I re-listened to a song a few times. So if you're capable of re-listening to music, a song, maybe some of y'all are bumping that Mariah Carey, All I Want For, whatever you got on repeat, This might be the episode that you need to go back and re-listen to to light that fire under your ASS to remind you that there is no secret. The secret is invest in the training, listen to the training, 
use the training and then manage your time and don't let the platforms use you. Can I drop a mic right there? Boom, biatch. <laughs> Sarah, thank you for your time and thank you for your wonderful energy and your amazing action that you've taken so we can have such an inspirational show. I can't wait to have you back. I love everything about you and I want to try to give you as much of a platform as I possibly can. I just messaged Matt as we were talking and I said, this, this chick is gold. She's awesome. Thank and you. And it's, it's not because you're, there's anything like that anybody else is not capable of. It's that you just are a prime example of what's possible when you just have an open mind, you put your skepticism aside, you open your mind up, you take training, you follow the instruct. You also go with your gut. You say, hey, are these guys like, right? You followed your intu intuition and you got connected in the right community, took our training, put it into action. Four months later, you're quitting your job. Are those results typical? No. Does that happen for most people? No. And that's what we're trying to change here is because that can happen for you or anyone else. And so Sarah, it did happen for you. And you know why? Because of you because you did the deal. And so I hope that today you can take in from me those words, add it to your self-esteem, add it to your confidence, and know that I am both impressed and proud of you and can't wait to continue to work with you, help you, and give you a platform to speak and inspire people like you did this morning. Thank you so much, Dave. It's really, really much appreciated. All right, Sarah, I love we'll Legendary and very, very grateful for it. Hey, hey, we are grateful that you're here and that you found us. So thank you to the the older lady, as you said, who is your mother's age, who ultimately you saw something that pointed you in this direction. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you soon. See right. you. Thank you. Bye. All right. You can go and follow Sarah on TikTok at Sarah Simmons underscore underscore. Okay, S A R A S I M M O N S underscore underscore. There's a double underscore there at the end at Sarah Simmons underscore underscore. Folks, I feel like Ric Flair. Whoa, baby, I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I don't know about you. I'm fired up this morning, baby. Let's go. Who's ready? Come on now. This is one of those that you need to re-listen to, my friends. Peace and love. Be legendary. Get your asses out of here. Let's have a kick-ass Thursday.